When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee all in the night watches. So this man brings God and makes him the subject of his meditation. It is in meditation that you take something that is outside. It is where? Now, wait. What you are taking is where? Outside. And you take it where? Inside. So, by his stripes you are healed. Sister, by his stripes you are healed. Is he in the Bible? <laughs> He's afraid to. Is he in the Bible? Just be, is he talking to you? How? Just because he's in the Bible doesn't mean he's talking to you uh, somewhere. The only way to make sure he's talking to you is to take, it is still outside. You are not hearing me. For my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. He's not talking to you. He's outside. Until you take it from outside and put it where? Inside. That is when it has begun to talk to you. It is still Bible and it's talking to everybody. Are you not getting the point? Are you getting where I'm going now? Yes. So there are many things outside. You have not taken it inside. Meanwhile, it's, it's in your brain, no? but your brain is part of outside. <laughs> you are not, your brain is part of what? It is only when it gets to your heart that it has entered inside. What we call the heart and its several compartments is the inner man. It is something that entered there that is part of it. It is there. That place is called subconscious. So this man said that I take God, I meditate on him. So somebody like me, what I do is that I, I, after, when I read a scripture, for example, I read a scripture in the book of Luke chapter 24, Luke chapter 24 verse 31 or 32, where the scripture said, and Jesus opened their eyes that, and they saw him. And their eyes were open, and they knew him. I said, what is this? I said, oh God, cure me of all blindness in the spirit. Huh? Are you getting the point now? I saw this, and I continued to meditate on it. Meditate on it. Meditate on it. Meditate on it. You are trusting God for a higher realm of the prophetic manifestation of God in your life. How did you do it? You take this scripture now and what? Meditate on it. Because they are looking at Jesus, they are not seeing anything. So Jesus, as they were, and their eyes was what? Open. They are looking. <laughs> the prophetic is, is looking and actually seeing. Because just because you are looking doesn't mean you are seeing. That is why many times when the apostles will want to do miracles and they want to activate the faith that is within you, they will say, look upon us, look on. That word, look on, is anablipo. Blipo is to look. Anablipo is look on. That means you, they needed to catch the attention of your subconscious. It is at that point that there is a trigger. If you are with me, say amen. amen. So another one, the second one there is, um, is what? Confession. 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 You see, Many things that is ours in God will never come until you confess. In fact, in my own opinion, meditation is, in fact, confession, certain kind of confession is, is actually a part of meditation. Because there are times that you will try to put something in your heart, it will refuse to enter until you begin to what? Say it. When you continue saying it, saying it, it, the saying this time around, there is a confession that is calling forth something. Actually, the confession I made here is calling forth something. But there is a confession that is not calling forth. It is a confession of putting something inside of you. Huh? For example, the confession of, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. It is not a confession of trying to do something outside. Are you getting the point? Are you with me? It is a confession of putting something inside. Are you getting the point now? 
So when you say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, you are putting something inside. You are putting what? Something inside. He that is joined with Christ is one spirit with him. I come into oneness. I come into oneness. I come into oneness. When you say it with the consciousness, of course, there has to be consciousness. Don't be, don't be saying, I come into oneness. I come into oneness. No, I come into oneness. I come into oneness. Let all your thinking, focus, energies of your inner man be channeled to your words because you are speaking to somebody that is conscious within. So it responds on the basis of consciousness too. When you speak it like that, many a times for people like us, something leaps up and comes alive within us. Once it comes alive like that, I will now stay and be meditating on it. Many instances, I came and the power of God was powerful. The power of God was everywhere. It was not because I really prayed. It was because by confession, I gained consciousness of what is already within me. I spoke up what was within me by my confessions. Are you getting the point? It is, I'm trying to put something inside. I'm trying to activate something. So sometimes it can just be a worship session by Benny Hinn. And Benny Hinn will say, clothe me with your glory. And I will say, clothe me with your glory. Clothe me. But us, clothe me. The clothing, the real clothing is not from outside in. It is from inside out. Huh? My garment is not hanging in my office. It's hanging within my spirit. <laughs> hmm. So when you when you say, clothe me with your glory. Eh? It is a confession. And when you make that confession by a consciousness, it activates a reality that is within you. Are you with me now, Jesus? So as you are saying it, faith comes alive. You see, this small statement everywhere has been charged. That will mean that... <laughs> That it is real. Is it not true? Confession. Sometimes bring out your hands and be looking at it like this. Huh? Your hands like this and be looking at it. This my hands is possessed by the Holy Ghost. The stretching of my hands is the stretching of the hands of God. I, my hands is full of power. When you continue saying it, bring out your hand as you continue. Bring out your hand. Some of you will start feeling the bonnies as you say it. Huh? Sometimes when I say, where is my weapon? As soon as I say it, it, I'll be clothed and I'll feel it. Because it is with my confession that I'm trying to activate something within me. Yeah? My hands carry fire. Ah. Ma, 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 ma. Speak in tongues for 30 seconds. Softly. Softly. Kanemori. When you speak for 15 seconds, you, you release a confession. Eh? My hands carry life. My hands carry power. Carry fire. And then, that, that confession in your mouth will be the basis of the faith of God that is within you. A conviction will be born in you that within you is the power of the eternal God. You are not looking for another power. It's within you now. Is within you now. There is fire. There is fire. Amora nene kai mi ni sile, sile be. Something is in this your hands now. Aye, aye. 
make sure you focus let your subconscious capture your confession take your confession from the outward and bring it within the inward there is power in your hands. The life of God flows through me. It flows. Ah, I can feel it. I can see it. Oh my God. Say it with your mouth. I am the temple of the Holy Ghost. There is no sickness that can stay in my body. No affliction, no depression, no demon can stay in my body. You need to say it with your mouth. When you say it, your inner man will recognize it. I am the temple. I carry God. I carry him from place to place. I carry him. I'm a mobile ark. I carry, I carry him. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Aha. When you meditate, you confess. When you confess, you begin to take action. Some of you, God will tell you literally what is surging through your hands. Huh? Whether it's the healing anointing, the deliverance anointing, the weapon of the spirit. Listen. Listen. Come, come. Come and stand. Moses, come, come, come. Come and stand like this. Just stand like this. Face him. Just face him. Hmm? This your hand now. Eh? That thing. Just shake him. Shake his hands. You can go. See them come, 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 come quickly. Call this face sister between. There is a first sister I'm seeing here. No. No, there is. Okay, D, come, come, come. The one on green. Come, come. Quickly. Come. Back. Ah, fire. I feel a garment now. Watch. Just shake her hands. Shake her hands. You can't even hold it. There is something you have in your hands. That's what I'm telling you now. It is in your hands, it's in your mouth. <laughs> This is the time for action. When you have meditated, when you confess by confession, you have stirred up the life of power within you, then it's time to take action. Speak to your body, speak to your family, speak to the infirmities. Apekeri Sosala. 